Hey guys, welcome back to the Homestead Adventure. Today I'm going to show you how to make candied ginger. I have been so excited to share this recipe because it's one of my favorite recipes of all time. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to peel and slice the ginger into an eighth an inch thick. So when you're picking out your ginger, you wanna make sure it's like the young, smaller pieces. These are the smallest I could find. Otherwise, it's gonna be really woody and stringy. Um, so you really want the young, tender roots. So I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing this. And we are going to do one pound of sliced ginger root. So I bought a little over a pound and I am going to weigh them after I slice them. And it doesn't have to be exactly a pound, just somewhere in the ballpark. So I'm gonna start by cutting all the knobbly pieces off. And the smaller ones, you can just toss those, but I will be cleaning these up, cut off any bad parts and just start peeling it. Cut that part off. So when we slice them, we're gonna go about an eighth an inch thick. So that's about this here. You don't want them too thin because otherwise they're gonna be crunchy and we want these chewy. And you also don't want them too thick because then they're gonna stay a little too hard and that's not very pleasant. So these slices came out to be a little less than a pound. It doesn't have to be exact. I just had a few bad pieces that I had to throw out. That's not a problem. As long as we're in the ballpark, it's gonna be fine. So our next step is to take the slices and put them in a pot and cover these with water. It doesn't matter how much water you use as long as all of the slices are covered because when we do the sugar syrup, then we're going to be reserving some of this water and not all of it. So you don't have to measure this part out. All I'm doing is covering the slices with water Make sure you have at least two cups of water though because when we are done with simmering these, we need to save half a cup of water. So make sure you have enough for that. So, so this is how much water I put in. As you can see, I'm not filling the whole thing, just making sure they're covered and I will be able to have half a cup to reserve after it has simmered. So the next thing we're going to do is put the pot on the stove, turn it up to high and boil the water. And once it starts boiling, then we're going to turn it down to low and let it simmer without a lid for 30 minutes. So the ginger has been simmering in the water for a half an hour. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to reserve half a cup of the ginger water and then strain out the rest of it. Okay. So what I'm doing is just scooping out some of this ginger water with a ladle and put it in a measuring cup. So we got half a cup here. So after we got our half a cup of ginger water, make sure that you save this. Then we're going to strain out the rest of the water. You don't need to save that but of course save your ginger slices so now we are going to strain the rest of this and we're going to put these slices right back in the pot so the next thing we're going to do is put our pot right back on the stove we're going to take our half a cup of ginger water, two cups of sugar, and 
and a pinch of salt. And then we are going to bring this to a boil. Stir it all up in there. So I've got this turned on high until it boils. And then I'm gonna turn it down to medium. And we're going to let it simmer uncovered for about 35 to 40 minutes or until a candy thermometer reaches 225 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see here, it's starting to reduce a little bit and become more of a syrup. We still got about 15 minutes left on this, but it will start to, like I said, reduce and turn into a sticky syrup. All right, so this has been simmering for about 30 minutes and it's already reached 225 on the candy thermometer. Uh, so I'm going to take it off now because I don't want to burn it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this and strain it into a small bowl. You don't want this going down your drain because it's a thick syrup now. And also you can save the syrup and add it to like drinks or smoothies or anything you want to add a little bit of zing to it. I've actually tried making candy from this, from the syrup, and it always ends up burning, so I kind of gave up on that. Um, but if you want to try, go ahead, make like, like gingins or whatever, like a chewy, spicy, sweet ginger candy. But like I said, <laughs> I just end up burning it every time, so... So if you want to, go ahead and save this syrup. Otherwise, just throw it out. Um, again, not down your sink because it's a sticky sugar syrup now. So the next thing I'm going to do is take these ginger slices and put them on a single layer on a cooling rack. And we're gonna let them cool for about one to two hours. You just wanna make sure that they are still sticky, but not so wet that the sugar is just going to dissolve when you dip it in the sugar. So be checking every hour, every half hour or so, just to make sure that they're not too dry. Because it might not take two hours. So just going to lay them out here. Keep checking every half hour or so and then we will dip it in the sugar. Okay. So now we have it laid out on a single layer and I'm going to leave this here for about a half hour and come and check on it, see if it's ready to dip in the sugar and depending on how wet yours are and how humid it is, it can take anywhere from one to two hours, but um, these seem to be getting dry already, so I'm just gonna wait a half hour. So I have been letting these dry for about a half hour now, and they seem to be just about ready. I don't want them to get too dry because then the sugar will not stick to them. So you want to take a piece, dip it in your sugar, and kind of test to see if the sugar dissolves or not. And the sugar is not dissolving on this. It looks good and it's sticking. So we're going to go ahead and dip all of these in the sugar. And I want to mention that I use organic sugar for a few reasons. Um, number one, it tastes better. 
it's better for you than bleached white sugar. I mean, sugar is sugar, it's never really good for you. But um, the third reason is I like that it has larger granules. So it's not like all powdery like, like other white sugar. Um, and I really like the look of the larger granules on the ginger. So now I've got all the ginger dipped in the sugar. And I'm going to leave it on this drying rack overnight before I store it in a jar and then we are done. So here is the end result. This is how much ginger we got out of one batch. Although it did have a little bit more and I just kept eating it because it's so good. Um, this is what it looks like when it's done. And it's got a really chewy texture like candy. It's really good. So that's how you make candy ginger. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next adventure. Bye guys. So when we slice them, I'm gonna go about an eighth an inch. So when we slice them, we're gonna go about an eighth. All right, we are ready for the next step. I am weird, I'm sorry. Is good. Yes, I know I'm a freak. Don't have to tell me.